Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. In this video, we're going to discuss the big question. Why do we gain weight? So if I ask you, why do we gain weight? The first thing that will pop into most of your heads is calories in, calories out. Meaning that we are eating more calories, calories in, than we are expending or burning calories out. Or put in a more pop culture way, eat less, move more, the biggest loser diet. We consider this to be the end all be all for this question. It's just that simple. And we hear it from so many people everywhere that we just accept it as truth. But is it? Another idea that we just accept as fact is that eating too much, being a glutton, have you heard that one before? Or exercising too little, being a sloth, heard that one, is a conscious decision, a personal choice, if you will. I mean, you could eat a salad instead of a bag of Cheetos. You could walk on a treadmill for an hour instead of watching TV. But you didn't, so you're fat. You're a loser. And if you ask the mainstream medical experts, they agree that this is the cause. There it is all wrapped up nice and tidy. I mean, you've got athletes and first ladies and doctors and dietitians, and they're all telling you that eat less, move more is the answer to weight loss. I mean, it must be true, right? But if it is true, and that is the cure for obesity, and we've spent billions of dollars educating people and establishing weight loss programs, then why are obesity levels continuing to rise? Is it possible that this advice just sucks? Okay, let's back up a bit. <laughs> In order to treat a disease, and believe me, obesity is a disease, you have to first understand the cause of that disease. For example, we know that bacteria cause infections, so we treat patients for the bacteria. So if we think that the cause of obesity is eating much, too much and moving too little, then we are viewing it as what Dr. Fung lovingly refers to as the caloric reduction as primary hypothesis. And hopefully we all see by now that it's crap. See you now. So this would mean that the cause for obesity is calories and therefore the treatment is reducing calories in. Additionally, we are assuming that the amount that we eat is controlled consciously and not by hormones or some other body function. As we mentioned, this is commonly known as the calories in, calories out model. Simply put, any calories you don't burn off through exercise will turn into fat in your body. Now, a lot of people are going to quote the first law of thermodynamics to you when trying to support this model. The first law of thermodynamics states, energy can neither be created nor destroyed in an isolated system. This is a mainstay in physics and it makes someone sound really intelligent. I know I'm impressed. Unfortunately, the human body is not an isolated system. Energy comes in and goes out all the time. That's what's called an open system. So guess what? The first law of thermodynamics does not apply. And why would it really? I mean, I don't look at a hamburger and think about Heisenberg's uncertainty principle or Planck's constant, do I? No, we're talking about biology, not physics. Stay in your own classroom. But it makes people appear smart and don't we all want that? Yeah. So let's simplify what these people are trying to say. If fat mass is stable, then the calories in must be balanced by calories used by the body. And additionally, they're assuming that most of these calories will be expended through exercise. However, that's not accurate as the body can use the energy from calories in for numerous functions. To name just a few, the energy can be used to generate body heat, create new tissue, can be used for physical exertion or exercise, for respiration, AKA breathing, stored as fat, et cetera, et cetera. Also, for the second half of the model to be correct, calories out, that number needs to remain fixed. And of course it doesn't. Calories out varies widely from person to person, from day to day. 
So you can see this model is falling apart already, but let's continue. The crap model looks like this. Total fat equals calories in minus calories out. But again, that's assuming that calories out never changes, which we know is false. So in order to keep our crap model going, we rearrange the equation thusly. Calories in equals total fat plus calories out. Again, using the false assumption that calories out is a fixed amount. The new equation tells us that calories in is determined by total fat. Simply put, we assume that we are eating more because we are fat. But thankfully, that gets us back to the real question, why are we getting fat? Since that is the entire focus of this series, and since obesity is the cause of many diseases, including diabetes and heart disease, it definitely warrants closer examination. And that's what we'll continue to do in our next video in this series. Until then, please like our videos, comment on them, and of course, subscribe to our channel to be updated as we release new videos in each series. In the meantime, you can check out our intermittent fasting playlist for more information. Just press the little I, it's right over there. Or on your computer, you can also click on the video link at the end of this video. I'll see you in our next video, and as always, keep being a loser.